Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can assign a username and password to our Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description below. Have you ever been worried about mixing your calculator up with someone else's or someone walking off with your calculator accidentally? Well, you can actually assign a username and organization name to your calculator and protect it with a password so that someone can't easily change it in order to help identify it. To do this, what we do is go to the menu screen and then scroll down to systems. There we go, select that, which will bring us to this systems menu here. We want to go to the next page, so we hit F6, so that we see this menu here, and we want to select F2 username. We can enter a username, organization, and password. If it's our first time here, these options will be blank. To enter it, we hit F1 for edit. That puts our cursor on the username, and we're in alpha lock mode, so that when we start typing on here, we're using the red letters in the top right of the key. All right, we'll call this user HD Calcs. So we can enter that here. There we go. Once we've finished entering it, we can just hit the EXE key and our cursor will jump to the organization. We'll call this YouTube. There we go. And we jump to our password. Like we said, we're automatically in alpha lock mode, but if we want to use numbers rather than letters, what we can do is press the alpha key here. We see that A in the top corner disappears. So now let's set our password, and we'll just use a example one of one, two, three. Keep in mind, this is just an example. I wouldn't generally use an easy password like this normally. Once we're done, we can hit EXE again. It'll pop this screen up saying information will be registered. If we want to confirm it, we hit F1. There we go. It says complete and press exit to leave the screen. So we can just hit the exit key. Now, if we go back to our menu and start working, we shouldn't notice any change. But if we turn off our calculator, We see down in the bottom right corner there our username and organization, letting us know who this calculator belongs to. All right. If we want to change our name, we need to use our password. So we go back to the systems. And if we hit edit, it'll put our cursor in the password screen. If we try to enter a password that isn't correct, let's say, a, B, C, it'll say mismatch password and won't let us change our username and organization. So if we remember, our password was turning off the alpha, one, two, three. And we see now our cursor is up at the username and we can edit that. So let's change that to hdcalcs1 and hit exe. There we go. Now we've changed our username. Hit exe again. And one more time to save. Again, it'll say information will be registered and we hit F1 and our change has been completed. It's also important to know these changes are not 100% locked in. 
If, for example, we've forgotten our password and need to change our username, there is a way to do that. To do that, from the calculator being off, what we can do is press the F2, Up, and AC key at the same time, which will bring up this menu here. And if we hit 9, it takes us to this screen here. But then if we go back to our menu, over to our system, and back to our username, we see that screen has been cleared and we no longer have a username, organization, and our password has been cleared so we can start again. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.